Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual duelist here, and happy Sunday. I hope everybody's weekend has been going all right so far. And to it. To address the dogs, uh, this is probably the 10th take now. We're just going to go through with this. Uh, they keep kicking off. I don't know what's happening. Whatever. Um, today we are going to address both of the Zane skills from the uh, GX Dual Academy box. And uh, I think that honestly we could do these with this same deck build. Uh, honestly, my personal opinion, Forbidden Style... That's going to be the skill to use. So keep in mind that that's the one I more than uh, more than always play. Uh, the Cyber Dark style isn't that bad. Once per turn, you get to choose three Cyber Dark monsters from your deck. Your opponent chooses one at random to add to your hand. Shuffle the other two along with one card from your hand back into your deck. Then flip this over. You may use this skill three times. Once when your life points are 3k or less, 2k or less, or 1k or less. And again, I don't like that. But you could still use the same deck using this skill. Uh, the other skill, the one that I prefer, Forbidden Style. Uh, activate this once per duel. If your life points are 1,500 or less and you control no monsters, you may reduce your life points to 50. Then special summon up to three machine cyber monsters from hand, deck, and or discard. They each become Cyber Dragon. Uh, and of course take on the stats and everything of the Cyber Dragon, and cannot be tributed. For the rest of this turn, you cannot summon or set except by fusion, nor attack except with fusion. Destroy any monster summoned by this skill during the end phase. And again, even if you aren't playing Cyber Dragon, this will allow you to play Cyber End. So let's just go ahead, we'll put those two skills up in the top corner. Let's get you guys a 21 card deck this week. First and foremost, we are going to be using three copies of Original Cyber Dragon. Uh, this card is just amazing. And again, whenever I have space, expect me to throw this in. This is just a good card uh, and maybe too good for where Speed Duel should be right now. But hey, we're in GX. So when in GX, play like GX. Next, we're going to use two copies of Edge, two copies of Horn, and two copies of Keel. Uh, again, this is just a consistency issue. Uh, and then three copies of Claw will round out our monsters today. Um, and again, Claw being the most versatile, it is a it is the only dragon that we can equip to the Cyber Darks. Uh, and on top of that, it is part of how we create so much damage when it comes to our extra deck and our Cyber Dark Dragon. Um, so real quick, let's get our spells. I'm going to be running two copies of Lure of Darkness, two copies of Cosmic Cyclone, because again... The back row is going to be a bit of an issue, but it shouldn't be that big of an issue. Single copy of Cyber Dark Impact. If you don't get why single copy, understand Cyber Dark Claw can be discarded to generate this card. Again, since we have three of it, a three to one split makes sense to me. Two copies of regular polymerization, and by regular I mean obviously as shiny as I could get them. Um, and that's, again, we, we do have the ability, not only just naturally... To be able to play Cyber End, but while playing the Forbidden Cyber Style technique, you could turn the Cyber Dark cards into Cyber Dragons and then again just play Cyber End. Uh, and then the last two cards, picking up the pack. I wanted to try out Covering Fire. It's been working so far. Um, it's just my little tech to this week. Obviously, play what you guys like. It is no worries. Uh, real quick, take the screenshot or go ahead and pause make the notes, and uh, I will clean the field up real quick. We'll be back with the extra deck and the side deck after that. All right, so the skills are still up there. Let's get that extra deck. Now, one of the effects of Claw is going to allow us to send a card from our extra deck to the discard pile when the monster equipped attacks. We are going to need a big dragon for this, so call on the Blue Eyes Ultimate. This is how we're going to make the most power. Uh, we're also going to have our one copy Cyber End Dragon, one copy Cyber Dark Dragon, one copy Ojama King, one Ojama Knight, and one Thousand Eyes Restrict. I get it. A lot of this doesn't make sense right now. Why didn't you just maximize out your cybers? Because, guys, I built it for the sideboard today, and the sideboard is going to be a co two copies of Lost Wind, two copies of Waking the Dragon, and suddenly all those cards make sense. And two copies of Zoma the Spirit. Because 
you know what? When people are able to generate things like Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Cyber and Dragon, and Master of Oz, uh, and Obelisk the Tormentor, I need to be able to know that Zoma the Spirit is still going to be with me somewhere, and that you guys will probably keep that in mind building your decks. Because as we get into these decks, it can just do crazy amounts of damage. We need to be able to still have a game condition against the opponent. So keep that in mind. All of this is pretty good. If you guys just wanted the list, go ahead, take that second screenshot. This way you've got the full deck. And then, uh, you know, you guys have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Really makes my day. Um, do stop by in a little bit. We'll have our uh, Speed Duel Spotlight here shortly. And uh, you guys have a good one. Uh, so for everybody else, let me go ahead. I'll clean up the table. We'll go over the effects and I'll dismiss everybody. So just real quick. Uh, so let's get it. So Cyber Dragon is just a special summon when your opponent has monsters and you don't. The stat of 2100, very healthy. Obvious pull. Claw is our only dragon. So this is what is going to equip to our Cyber Darks. Uh, like I said a little bit earlier, we got two effects on this. If this is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster, you can target a cyber dark monster in the graveyard add that to your hand. Uh, and you can use each of the following effects once per turn. Uh, one of those effects is you may discard this card to add one cyber dark spell trap from the deck to the hand. Again, we really only got one, so we got the Inferno. We're going to run it at one because we have three tutors for it. So fair is fair. And secondary effect, during the damage calculation, if a monster equipped with this card battles... You can send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. Guys, this is how the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon should go to the discard pile. Um, you want to be able to do this so that, uh, not so that you can resurrect the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, but so that you can equip it to the Cyber Dark Dragon, which is going to be, of course, one of our two endgame states. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to have the Cyber Dark, Keel, Edge, and Horn. They are all going to have the following effects in common. Uh, that is, if this card is normal summoned, target a level 3 or lower dragon monster in the graveyard. Equip that to this card. Gain attack equal to the original attack of the equipped monster by this effect. And the following effect, uh, also shared, if this card would be destroyed by battle, destroy the equipped monster instead. So they are all 800 by 800. Uh, and with Claw, this will bring them up to 24. Uh, so they will be at a basic Monarch Strength, and again, you can do this pretty much on the first turn as long as you have any two of them, by discarding the Claw in order to fetch your uh, Fusion Spell, and then uh, playing your other Cyber Dark to equip. And of course, you could go a little more Banana Sandwich, and you could also play uh, your Cyber Dragon first if you went second. So that is also very fair. And I guess there could be a third deck... That you could you could like maybe use the uh, spellproof armor, but I wouldn't go that far. Um, Edge, his uh, special ability is going to be that he can attack directly. When he does, attack is half during damage calculation. Horn will gain piercing, uh, and Keel will say that if it destroys a monster by battle, it will inflict an additional three hundred points to the opponent. Again, this is usually my least favorite effect, but you know what? This is speed duel here, and in speed duel, we. <laughs> we are allowed to do small amounts of damage like that and have it feel like larger amounts of damage, so very good. Uh, again, we're going to use the two copies of Lure of Darkness, draw two, uh, banish a dark from hand if can't, drop hand. Um, again, I just stated that we've got like nine monsters in the main deck that are all dark, so you shouldn't uh, ever run out of targets. Cyclones to take apart the back row. Cyber Dark Impact, Fusion Summon a Cyber Dragon from the, uh, sorry, Cyber Dark Dragon from the extra deck by shuffling one each of Horn Edge and Keel from the hand, field, and or graveyard back into the deck as Fusion Material. So again, this is why you only really need the one, plus it's going to recoup your characters, so that's fine. Two Polymerizations, uh, just a little consistency. Again, I play more often with the Forbidden Cyber Style technique, so I am looking at the uh, Cyber End Dragon and being able to do that, and then covering fire. And again, this one was my favorite little tack right now. Uh, during the damage step, if an opponent's monster attacks your monster, target one other face-up monster you control, your uh, attacked monster gains attack equal to the target's attack. So again, so one monster helps the other one fight off the attacking monster. You guys want to make this a little more professional. Take these out, put in Books of Moon. 
I really just wanted to have an excuse to show that in a deck. Uh, Book of Moon probably will be more useful for you. In fact, will also shut off any effects of a card too. So like if you do end up facing Jinzo, not that you need your traps in this build, uh, but if you were to face down Jinzo, he is definitely weaker in defense mode. Um, whereas he would walk through the covering fire. Just going to be a non-starter with him. Uh, going back into the extra deck, uh, Blue has ultimate for power. Uh, Cyber End, because we can play it, and it also has piercing. Cyber Dark Dragon, again, fuse of the three characters. Uh, must be fusion summoned if it is special summoned. Uh, target one dragon in the graveyard. Equip that to this card. Gain attack equal to the original attack of the monster equipped by this. So again, just real quick, this guy's at 1,000. I just said that you could equip a 4,500 card to it. 5,500 points brings this guy to, like, king of the game. Um, and that's before his last effect, where he gains another 100 attack for every monster in my graveyard. If he would be destroyed by battle, I could destroy the equipped monster instead. I doubt he's getting destroyed in battle, guys. Um... I'm not saying you won't Cosmic Cyclone and banish Blue Eyes and do some sort of upset maneuver. I'm just saying you probably won't. But you might. So in case you're curious on how to disarm it, uh, Cosmic Cyclone for the win. Uh, and then again, some of this is for the extra deck, uh, because the or sorry, the side deck, because of the Waking the Dragons. Again, I pulled out the two Ujamas. Pick which one uh, fits your situation you may be able to entirely lock an opponent out of their spell, or sorry, monster zones for that round. And then, of course, Styles and Eyes Restrict, my favorite turnaround monster. Uh, going into the side deck, you do have the two Lost Winds. Target a face-up special summon monster on the field, negate its effects. Also, its original attack is half. If a monster special summoned from the opponent's extra deck, and again, we got so many decks using Fusion now, this card is going to gain more steam. Uh, while this card is in the graveyard, you can then set this card but banish it when it leaves the field. Subbing in these two really gets you four activations of Lost Wind and can handle even the most uh, like driven uh, elemental hero decks right now. Uh, Waking the Dragon, you guys know Waking the Dragon. I talk about it too much. Same thing with Zoma. And again, Zoma, uh, if it gets destroyed by battle, inflict damage to the opponent equal to the attack of the monster that destroyed it. Again, we're hoping Jinzo's not going to be a thing at the time. Uh, but again, if you see Blue Eyes Ultimate, if you see Cyber End Dragon, uh, if you see Cyber Dark equipped with Blue Eyes Ultimate, uh, if you see Master of Oz, Obelisk the Tormentor, insert some ancient gear effects here, um, this could be the way that you actually end up claiming victory. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed this. This is a fun little deck. Uh, and again... Technically, I'm going to count this as being both Zane decks, even though my my uh, Forbidden Style technique is the preferred go-to skill here. Uh, and I really just hope that you guys enjoyed it. So with all that said, come back, check it out a little bit later. It's going to be in about like an hour or two. We're going to go ahead and get the Speed Duel Spotlight. And then, of course, we'll be back to normal this next week. We'll do a Deck Master Monday. We should have a common charity deck for you. Um, all of the things, my friends. So go take a break, go get a cup of coffee or milk or I don't know what you like to drink, tea. Have a nice hot chai, guys. It'd be great. And then come back, see me again here in a little bit, and I'll get you a little more content today. You guys have a great day and a wonderful weekend. Later.